Former U.S. Trade Representative under President George W. Bush, Robert Zellick, writing a scathing op-ed condemning President Trump's trade policies in the ongoing trade dispute with China. Zellick writing, amongst other things, in the Wall Street Journal, the trade war's winners don't include us. Later in that op-ed, Zellick wrote, quote, the United States has lost markets for exports because it dropped out of deals like the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Well, joining us tonight, the director of the White House National Trade Council, Peter Navarro. Peter, Evening, good Luke. to have you with us. Great to be here. Zellick, I mean, look, this is, there's one of a handful of uh, swamp creatures here in Washington most responsible for getting us into, uh, getting China into the World Trade Organization in 2001. Therefore, Zellick has to be responsible for the 70,000 factories we've lost and the 5 million manufacturing jobs before this president took office. So why would you take uh, uh, advice from Robert Zellick about trade policy? Well, in point of fact, his trade policies, those of President uh, George W. Bush uh, and Obama and uh, Clinton, uh, the reason the op-ed is in the Wall Street Journal is to take on the guy who wants to balance international trade relationships, that is, your boss, President Trump, uh, and to see the, the, this litany. Let, let's go to the second thing. He says he praised uh, China's entry into the World Trade Organization, uh, claiming the move would strengthen the organization. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's put up his next claim here, if we could, from the op-ed. Uh, am I going to wait here? And I think I am. There we go. He said, the United States has lost markets for exports because it dropped out of deals like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, uh, to which you say what? The uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, would have devastated our auto sector, and this recent deal uh, with Japan uh, takes away any doubt that we're doing great in terms of exports. Farmers, particularly pork and uh, cattle uh, producers, uh, couldn't be happier with that. So uh, no thanks, Mr. Zellick. Wrong. And, and as we look at, uh, you know, what is happening here with this, uh, this uh, new world order that has seen itself challenged by the Trump presidency and administration, this president, uh, we're, we're looking at some people who are just out of their ever-loving minds uh, with rage and disappointment and frustration because they now see that the game is, in fact, the, the game is up. Uh, people know exactly what is happening and why, that it's cost us trillions of dollars uh, to run these trade deficits over the course of 40-some-odd uh, years consecutively. Uh, also, that it has cost us mightily uh, to watch a half a trillion dollars a year stolen by the Chinese. How could, with a straight face, Robert Zellick or anyone else complain about a president who has uh, resuscitated this economy and put us uh, back into a new era of prosperity. Well, I, I mean, Selick, he, he says uh, that supply chain sh should stay in China. They're leaving China faster than you can say Trump tariffs. That's actually good for the world economy because a more diverse supply chain is more resilient. And by the way, that stuff's coming home as well. So Zellick also says that we're paying for the tariffs, not China. China's paying for those tariffs. They're paying dearly for the tariffs in terms of slashing their prices, manipulating their currency, and losing that supply chain. So every claim you go, go through uh, with Zellick, it's just wrong. And all he's doing is acting as a stalking horse for a newspaper that basically never saw an American job they didn't want to offshore. Well, uh, outsourcing, uh, so said uh, the editorial page of the journal, uh, they thought would be a, a, just a natural uh, efficiency of markets. It turned out to be far more than that. Uh, we appreciate you being with us, and uh, thanks so much. It's great Good to see you, here. as always. Peter Good Navarro. Night.